morning. Um, I am headed to go get some breakfast, some hot breakfast before my 10 a.m. class. It is, I think it's like 8.45 right now. Um, so I'm very excited to get some food. I am hungry. Okay, I am back. Still looking like a newborn baby boy. But anyways, um, I have French toast with ketchup. Not French, this is not French toast, this is a hash brown. Biscuit, French toast, powdered sugar, and then two things of jelly for my biscuits. Basically, I'll give you a quick rundown of the day while we're together because you're my little bestie that's coming with me on my day. Um, so today I have my illustration class. It's probably my favorite class of the entire semester. I just really like the people I have it with, my professor, and the actual class itself. The stuff we're learning is really, really cool. We have my photography class. Um, I also like photography a lot. It's a good class. And then I had something else that I wanted to do. I can't remember. The food at ISU is not bad. I mean, it's not like amazing. It's hot food, so I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna finish my breakfast and then we will go back and get ready for the day. so close together um unless it's like blistering cold i'll wear my giant coat because i have like a giant puffy trench coat but since it's like sunny out and i'm walking short distances i didn't wear it but i'm freezing hey grace About three o'clock after my illustration class my professor taught me how to color correct photos because I'm trying to learn how to use Photoshop for photo editing and it was really really informative I didn't want to film anything from it because I was very focused and then I went to photography and that was very interesting <laughs> to say the least and now I'm headed to the dining hall because I am fucking starving I haven't eaten since breakfast this morning so I'm very hungry so, we're gonna go to the dining hall and get some yummy food. Hey guys, I just wanted to pop in to kind of explain this clip um, and then put in some footage, but basically this is just me explaining what the heck is going on. So, this class period um, was more of a work day rather than like uh, attendance required, so I was the only one there. Key note, I was the only one there. Um, so it was just me and my professor in the actual like classroom but I was working on trying to figure out all the settings I needed for my darkroom print. So if anyone does darkroom photography, you know that um, absolutely no light in the darkroom, hence why it's called a darkroom. Um, but they do have these things that are uh, like red safety lights that don't hinder any of your prints. The reason you need it to be dark is because if any light is exposed to the image as opposed to what you're trying to actually expose, it could ruin your whole image and yada, yada, yada. Basically, me being the only one in there, I was, you know, enlarging my photos. I was getting them all done and diddy doo -dod. Um, I'm gonna try and explain this for people who have never been in a dark room before. But basically, once you project your image onto the paper for a certain amount of time, you put it in a couple different chemicals that will help develop the image so you can actually see it on your paper. Um, so, this first clip I'm gonna show you 
I uh, did two test runs with these prints, but basically we had to do a layering assignment where we had to take one film and uh, stack it on top of another and then expose it onto the print that way. Well, my first two ones came out not ideal. So then I was like, let me do a third one. And I was like, I'm a YouTuber. Let me do like a little clip of me in the dark room because there's no one in here. If people were in the dark room, I would have not done this, okay? I know I'm not stupid. I know how to not ruin anyone else's prints. Like I said, I was the only one in there. Well, if you've ever, I just use my iPhone to film for uh, most of my vlogs. So a default setting on Apple phones, if you are filming it the other way is like on the back side of your camera, not the way you're looking at me. If you film it that way, a default setting is if it's dark, your flash will turn on. I didn't think about this when I took uh, this clip, but anyways, my film, my photo was in the developer. It had maybe about like a minute left. And I, here's the clip I got from the darkroom. It's literally a millisecond because as soon as that flash went on, I immediately cut the video because why would I? You can't expose light in the dark room. So I'm laughing and I'm like, I'm like trying to delete it off my phone. And then I look back at my print and it is like, I don't want to say ruined, ruined for what I was doing, but I was like, I'm going to keep developing it. Let me call in my professor and see if she knows. After I explained to her what I did, she was like, oh yeah, that's actually a process called solarization where you actually flash a, uh, you actually flash light on it for a certain amount of time while it's in the developer. She's like, you did it exactly how you were supposed to if you were going for this effect. Um, and it came out super cool. I really liked the way it came out. I thought it was really neat. I wanted to share that with you since I didn't get any footage today of me in photography, which is really frustrating. But anyways, back to present day love. Okay, I just ate some food, nothing crazy. And now I'm just gonna lay right there and play my switch. I am very excited, but I was hesitant about, you know, posting this vlog considering I was like, there's not much footage and it's not very exciting, but I wanted to do a day in my life kind of at ISU as a junior. Um, and so yeah, nothing super crazy, but uh, let me give you a little tour of my dorm actually. So I have a roommate, but I'm only going to show my side of the room uh, as privacy for my roommate. She's not in here right now, but um, anyways, our dorm room is like very small. This is my half of the room and then her half is obviously behind the camera, but I'll show you my half. Um, it's actually not the cleanest right now, but I have my fridge, which if you are ever going to be in college, I highly recommend doing a separate compartment freezer because you will have a lot of freezer food that will not fit in the tiny little compartments on other ones. But here's my mini fridge, lots of Gatorade, some Dr. Pippa snacks, uh, a microwave. Hannah and I both use this, but um, this is my microwave that I purchased. But And then here's kind of like our shared utilities. So trash bags, paper towels, paper plates and forks and spoons or whatever. Um, I have a little whiteboard calendar that I rewrite every month. Right here we have water that we both share. But then I have like my pantry slash like cleaning stuff. I have like pads up there, but I also have like, you know, my cleaning stuff. And then here's my closet where I put my clothes, my like sweatshirts and things I hang up and then also my shoes. And then down here in these drawers, there's like t-shirts, pants, you know, all the goods. We have this lamp, that's mine, but uh, it kind of lights up the whole room, so we use it often, but I have my little stand. I have this uh, ottoman that I put extra blankets in. Trash, bags right here. My little vine decorations, which I love. And there's uh, fairy lights lined up in here, but I don't typically have them on that often, but I think it looks really cute. Little sign that my mom gave me when I moved to Indiana. Window, I really love being by the window. Um, I have my cute little collaged photo wall thingy. I think it's like super pretty. And then my bed, I have uh, a comforter and then I have a mattress topper underneath. Um, all underneath my bed is like extra clothes, storage, you know, kind of the dealio. And then we have my desk. I just have like a couple of different things. Hello. 
Um, I just got this recently where <laughs> it's a little Silas. <laughs> I, uh, it's like a digital photo frame my grandma gave to me. So I have my TV up here, kind of like on top of my desk. Um, I don't use it super often, but when I do use it, it's really nice to have. And then, yeah, just kind of all my good photos, a lot of my, uh, markers and stuff, just art major things and a cute little cat sticker. She's, she's adorable. Um, drawers full of stuff is all like my hair and stuff. And then, you know, we got all the other makeup shit and yeah, nothing, just college shit. But yeah, it's pretty uneventful. Um, people ask me all the time if I love living in a dorm and I really do. I really enjoy living in a dorm. Um, I don't mind a small space. I'm not crazy as long as I have a place to put my head down at night. I'm pretty grateful about that. Um, and I'm pretty much a homebody. I don't really go out that much. So I don't mind spending time in my dorm. And Hannah's great. She's a really nice roommate. So nothing crazy. She's actually, her dad is actually a Nightwish fan. So when Silas posted videos of us reacting to Nightwish, uh, her dad recognized us, so he was the first person that recognized Silas and I outside of, you know, life. He recognized us from Silas's YouTube channel, which is absolutely crazy. But if anyone is ever watching this and you see me or if you see Silas, please say hi to us. That's like our dream that someone will come and take a photo with us. Like Silas is like, if anyone ever recognizes me and takes a photo, like I will post the photo with us together. He's like really excited to hopefully meet someone from the channel. So if anyone wants to... If anyone sees us, we're super friendly, we don't bite. Um, we could be in the middle of dinner and we could happily take a photo with you, but I just thought that was funny. We're not famous, but I just know Silas would really love to take a photo with one of you guys, so it'd be really cool. Anyways, I'm gonna game. After being a hermit crab for a good couple hours, I'm now headed to the, uh, like gas station cupboard sort of thing we have here on campus because I want chocolate. But also I'm gonna see if they have spoons because Hannah and I are running out of spoons and potentially paper bowls, but I, I don't, I don't know, but I'm really craving chocolate. So I'm gonna get them. Walking back to my door with the wrong fucking silverware. Jesus. You go to ISU and you are lonely too. Please, please, please be friends with me. This is literally all I do all day. I sit around, I go to class, and then I just come back to my dorm and game or look at my phone. It's really not that eventful. And my life is kind of sad, but we're not going to talk about it any further. Anyways, um, let's get back watching this vlog where nothing's happening. And I feel like I should probably not upload this, but I probably will because I'm desperate. Okay, bye.